Hey, this is Jim, Saturday morning with My Garage. I think I should have worn a different shirt because I think this one's making me look fat. It's really driving me crazy, but it's probably not the shirt. Anyways, our guest today, you guessed it, and maybe you didn't, is Gibby, Gibby Jr. from the famous Pismo Beach Run. So Gibby, how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, we've been doing it for 18 years now, so. 18 years? 18 years, yeah. Well, how old are you? 48. You're 48, so while well, you've been doing it for a couple weeks then. I, I didn't yeah. know you are that old. I don't feel so bad now. I thought you were like I 40. As as you. Yeah, I thought you were like you're 40. So how did this whole thing get started? Actually, it got started, um, we met a guy named Chuck in um, Lake uh, Elizabeth. We broke down over there and uh, we needed a ride, so we went back to the bar, the Rock Inn, I think it's called. Okay. And we saw a guy that had a ramp on his on his um, truck, so we went in there and said, hey, whose truck's that? And some ZZ Top looking guy jumps up and says, oh, that's my truck, man, what's up? And I go, hey, we need, we need, a, we need help, we broke down. He goes, yeah, no problem. So he went over there and, and um, helped us out, and he goes, um, so uh, where do you guys live? Well, we live in Santa Paula, so maybe you could get us down to, one, to the five, you know, and then we'll get a ride from there. He goes, I'll take you all the way. So we ended up going, um, took us all the way, and we ended up talking real good, getting along with him and my dad, went to Vietnam at the same time. So um, he goes, man, so we, really, we just hit it off really good. So he wanted to meet all our friends. I told him, well, shoot, I'm tired of going uh, up to Lofton every year. We've been doing that for like eight years straight. So I go, I'm, I'm going to do a run up, up north because my, my mother-in-law bought a place in the Tascadero. So I wanted to, to um, you know, do something that way because I never heard of runs that went to Pismo, really. Right, right. So I go, shoot, I'm going to go scout it out and then we'll, we'll check it out, invite our friends, and we'll just we'll take a ride there so you can meet all the friends. We'll barbecue. No, it's it. huge. And so that was, yeah, 18 years ago. We started off with, um, what, 50 bikes. 50 bikes, and now we're, I think we're up to like 300 probably. I know, it's average. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, did you ever think it was going to get this big? No, not really. Just did it to have a good time and then just start growing. And yeah, just within time, me and my dad used to work on bikes a lot. So we knew a lot of people and had a good, good, uh, good rapport with people. So it actually well, it's turned out pretty good. Awesome. So, so now you have a well, pre run coming up, and isn't that tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's the pre run tomorrow just to get everybody fired up for Pismo and we show our Pismo shirt and just to get out around around our neighborhood for a little ride and then listen to some music. And That's at 10 o'clock tomorrow? Uh, we leave uh, my dad's house in Santa Paula at about 9-ish. Oh, I gotta get up earlier. I thought it was 10. It's a good thing I asked you. Yeah. I'm gonna be there tomorrow. I gotta, there's a handful of people that are gonna be there. And then this year's Pismo Beach runs, uh, what, it's a September 9th, I think September 8th, Labor Day, a weekend after Labor Day, September 8th. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And you guys meet up at that hotel because I know it's taking me uh, several years to finally get a room. I go up there and then come back every year, and, and it's a it's a hoot. They give prizes away. I mean, I think the prize giving away takes like four hours, and uh, and that's a benefit you do um, every year. And uh, the money, the one thing I think is cool is you just the money, everything goes back to doing the Pismo Run again. And it's crazy the people come from all over California. Um, I've talked to people from other states, and honestly, give you, I think that's totally awesome. Um, I've known you now for. Gosh, it's been it's been a handful of years, and, and I really appreciate my garage being a part of that thing. We have a lot of fun. Oh and, yeah, uh, this is the honest as honest guy comes. He's like, I've been trying to get a room for like seven years, and you're like, you have to be on the list. You're on the list, and it was way, never happening, never happening. I'm like, come on, give me, a, I, I hook you up. It's nope, hard. not yeah. happening. And then what? Two years ago, three years ago, you're like, hey, do you want a room? And now I finally get a room because it is like a bitch to get a freaking room. Everybody else goes up there and they inundate the hotel. Now they take over what two more hotels, I think. Yeah, we got two more tel hotels that are a block away from each other. And so yeah, our hotel has 26 rooms. It's like a horseshoe, and we just have a, just a party there. You know, that, that, that no big well, party. Yeah, besides, party. my garage has been there for 18 years. So yeah, you, you party know? like nobody's business and. Every and you're the, the, and the and isn't this the time when the guy like is once a year vacation he leaves and lets you run the whole operation? Yeah, the guy who runs the hotel has been actually when I went to go uh, check out the hotel, it was actually his first year that he bought the hotel. So we've got a good report together with his. So he just gives me the master key and he takes off for the whole the whole weekend, you know, because he knows that we're we're all good people. Well, I'm I gonna told, call you this year because if I need shit paper, whether I need it or not, I'm gonna call. <laughs> it. Can you bring me some toilet paper? I'm on the pot. I, I need some right yeah. away. Toilitas and everything. Hopefully, I get some more blankets because that's the only thing we're short of. But Just blankets. <laughs> uh, yeah. you, I'm gonna ask you for some shit. What happened? You fucked up my screen.